Today we're going to be looking at a Samsung TV with a cracked screen. Now most of the time this replacement isn't too worth it, but since we had another TV with a screen, we decided to do it. So first things first, we're going to grab our spatula and start gently prying apart the clasps for this screwless design. Now it's important to be firm with your pressure, but not too much pressure as the plastic is very brittle and is very easy to crack, especially towards the bottom of the device. So we're just going to keep going along the edges, prying apart the fasteners, the clips that hold the back cover onto the chassis. And we can just lift off the back. All right, now that we are on the inside, we have to start by removing all the components that we do not need for the TV to work and the ones that are in the way of our panel. So we're going to start off by removing the IR sensor. And we're just going to put that to the side. Next are the speakers, which we've already unplugged. Set those to the side. And now, as with every great screwless TV, we're going to need to grab our screwdriver and unscrew the mounting brackets for the stand. All jokes aside, there's another model that has the screwless stand brackets, but this one we just need to unscrew four screws. Now this part is a little interesting. The panel board covers have little clips as well. So we just need to unclip them and then we can lift them up. All right, and now we can go ahead and flip this TV over. And now that the TV is flipped over, we can go ahead and use our hands just to remove the bezel. Now this part, we want to be careful not to crack the screen, but it's pretty easy to take them off with your hands.
of course, we put that to the side. And then we're just going to take the panel boards from underneath and kind of flip them. Now using our suction cups, we're just going to remove the panel. Now we just repeat this process one more time with the new screen, the new or the good screen. This time we're going to tape the panel boards to the panel just to protect them a little bit. The last one we didn't really care because they were cracked, but this one we want to make sure we do that. And then we can just put the TV panel back onto the working TV. Now the reason why we're using this panel is because the diffuser behind this panel was all ruined. so. The TV wasn't working the best, the backlight circuit was messed up, so we just decided to take a good screen, put it on a good backlight circuit, and make one working TV. Now is a good time to plug everything in and test while it's open, just to make sure A, everything is working, and B, you didn't crack it on the way. And after plugging it in, it looks like it works. Now we're just going to go ahead and put everything back in reverse order. Put the back cover back on and as you can see, a working TV.